Uh, hi there, this is Elisha and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to solve one of the questions from paper 1, 2023 in mathematics that was written by the GC candidates. So, after I'm done, I'm going to reveal to you an app with which you are going to be making money from while you are sleeping. It's a very good app. So I urge you to watch the video from now to the end without blinking. Let's take a ride. Okay, so now this question is basically on the basics of linear programming. This is actually the first part, the first segment, which has to do with inequalities and graphing inequalities. So let's take a ride. The same right three inequality, inequalities that define a shaded region are in the diagram below. So this is the y-axis, that's the x-axis. So now, what you need to do is, on an example, always start with the simplest solutions. Always start with the simplest, to save one time. So we have this line here which is cutting the y-axis. I hope you're able to see that, this one here. So it's touching the y-axis at a point where y is equal to one. So we're gonna even get to say number one, y is equal to one. Then the next thing that you have to do is you check the nature of the line. Is it a bold line or a dotted one? So since it's a support line, then the inequality symbol that we're going to have is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to pick on a number from the unshaded region. You take note of the region which is shaded. So this line is actually segmenting the y-axis into two segments, the upper segment and the lower segment. And the lower segment is where they have shaded. So we're going to pick on a number from the shaded region. So if this is one, there may be a two here, a three, a four, a five, and there is a six. So we can pick on a number which is not on the line. We'll pick on a three. And where there is y, you're going to write that three. So we are picking a number from the shaded region. 3, then the equal sign will be substituted with the box. Then we write 1. Now, we need to plug in one of these two inequality symbols to make the statement true. Now, which of the two will actually make the statement true? 3 is less than or equal to 1. Is that true? The answer is no. 3 is greater than or equal to was D1. So we can have, since we've determined the inequality symbol that we have to plug in that, we'll now write this, say y is greater than or equal to 1. So that's the first inequality. The first inequality. Let's move on to the second. So this time around, I'm going to go by this line here, the horizontal line. So now, all the horizontal lines are actually denoted by y is equal to mx plus c. m is actually the gradient, c is the y-intercept. So first of all, we can start with the gradient. So gradient is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can pick on two points. We will take it that this is the first point and uh, it's a uh, 5 comma 1 so that is x1 y1 then we have that point there and we can actually take it as 0 comma 6 we can equally pick on this one here but we're going to take that one as uh, <clears throat> 0 comma 6 so this is y2, this is x2. 
So from here, we can actually plug in the values into that equation. Say, gradient is equal to y2 is a 6, then y1, y1 is a 1, then x2 is a 0, then x1, x1 is actually a 5, so that would be minus 5. So now when we work out this, we say 6 minus 1, that's a 5. Then 0 minus 5, that would be negative 5. So then will be negative 1. Say so gradient is equal to negative 1. We found the gradient, but we also need to determine the y-intercept here. So what is it? You're going to pick on one point, this one here. Now we say, where there is y, we write 1. Where there is x, we write a 5. So y will be substituted by 1, which is equal to a must be determined as negative 1. Then x is actually 5 plus c. So that will be 1 is equal to negative 5 plus c. We can actually shift this one, this side, so it will be 1 plus 5 is equal to c. So c is equal to 6. So we can now write this equation. And say y is equal to m is negative 1, x, then plus the y-intercept, which is a 6. So that's what we have. y is equal to negative x plus 6. Now, we need to determine the inequality symbol that has to be plugged in here. The inequality symbol that has to be plugged in there. Okay, so now, since we're looking at this one and it's bold, you see that we have this one, or that one, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Okay, so now, we need to pick on a point, which we call the testing point. So now, the shaded region is that side. We have to pick on the unshaded region, which is this side. So we can pick on 0, 0. And we're going to name this one x and y. Where there is y, we write the 0. Then when there's an equal sign, put in that. Then where there is x, we write a 0 plus 6. So that will be 0 box. That will give us a 0. 0 plus 6, that will be 6. So now, of the two inequality symbols, which of them are we going to plug in? There are which will make the statement true. So 0 is less than or equal to 6. So we can now rewrite that and say y is less than or equal to negative x plus 6. And we are done with that one. <clears throat> Let's determine the third inequality. The third inequality. The inequality. So let's create some space here. Okay, so we're looking at this one. So the first point to be 0, comma 0, because it's, pass it's passing through the origin. The second point to be 2, comma 4. With that in place, we name them x1, y1, x2, y2. So from here, we can now determine the gradient. m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plug in the values. y2, that's a 4. y1, that's a 0. Then x2, that's a 2. x1, that's a 0. So that will be 4 over 2. Then gradient will give us 2 into 4. That's a 2. So we've determined the gradient. What then is the y-intercept? So we write the formula. y is equal to mx plus c. Let's, plug, let's pick on the point. We can pick on the first two. Now the first point. So where there is y, we are going to write a 0. Then m. 
m is what we just determined, that's a, a 2. Then x is a 0 plus c. So that will be 0 is equal to 0 plus c. So that will go that side. And we're going to say c is equal to 0. Hence, the equation will be y is equal to, what is m? m is actually a 2, the one that we found here. 2, then x. Since c is a 0, we are not, we're not going to write anything there. We'll leave it just like that. So this is the equation, but we need to determine the inequality symbol to be plugged in here. So we're going to say y box 2x. So now let's check. <coughs> the line is dotted. So we see that we have less than or greater than. So now, where are we going to pick the point? We're going to pick a point from this side. The, the, the point which is not on the line. So if this is 2 comma 2, we can as well pick on, we can as well pick on <clears throat> 6 comma 0, this one here. So that's the testing point, 6 comma 0, x, y. So where there is x, we plug in 6, where there is y, we plug in a 0, 0, pongis, Two, then x is six. So that will be zero. Box twelve. Which of these two inequality symbols will make sense? That is zero is less than twelve. We can now rewrite what we have here. Say the equation is now y is less than 2x. So we have this inequality, this inequality. We also have uh, this one here. And this one, which is y, is greater than or equal to 1. So friends, that's how you work out this. Now, before I forget, I actually promised that I would reveal to you one app with which you can actually make major big time money. So the app is Mio. So don't, don't be in a hurry to go and look for it on Play Store because there are a few things that you need to be helped with. So what you do is head on to the description section. Look for the link by which you can install the app. After installing it, you need to come back to this video and then make a comment that you've installed the app. Then I'm going to send you the link by which you're going to get in touch with me. And I'm going to help you to set up the 